every financial report must contain an income statement. But having an income statement like the one you see on screen, where you can actually drill down to single accounts, is even better. Let me show you how I did this. So I jump into a new report and add a new page. But before we start to create a report, let's just have a quick look at what the data needs to look like in order to be able to do this report. So I head over to the data view where you can see that actually my data only contains one table and these are the columns which are contained. So I have an account group ID which basically is the sort order for the account group description and I have an account ID which is a sort order for the account column. So this means that I have an account group called revenue which is sorted as number one, meaning it will be on the very top of my income statement. And then within number one revenues, I have three different detail accounts, one for software revenue, one for support revenue, and one for consulting revenue. And they will be sorted by the sort order in the account ID column. And then on top of that, of course, I have a column indicating the year, and then I have the values columns for previous year, actuals, plan, and forecast. So let's start creating the report. I head over to the report view, and the first thing I want to do is I want to add a Zebra BI custom visual to the report. So let me do this and increase the size. And now I can start adding fields to the report. So I want to add the account group to the category. This is the top level of the hierarchy. And I want to add the account just below, which already creates a hierarchy. So I can already expand and collapse from the accounts and only see groups or also see account level. What we need to do now is to create our custom sort order logic. So I select the account group column and in column tools, I need to change the sort by to the account group ID, which is a numeric value, and Power BI can sort by numeric values, of course. So let's do this, and you will see that actually now the sorting of the report changes, but still I need to do the same for the account. So I select the account, go back to sort by columns, and then select account ID. And now the sort order of the accounts will change, and you will see that actually now I already have the sort order which I wanted to have. So let's start adding values to the report. I want to compare actuals with previous year, so let's go and take the actuals value and put it into the values field. And then go back to the fields list and also take the previous year value and put it into the previous year list field. As you can see now the sort order again changed because now it is sorted by values because this is just a default setting. I can get rid of this by clicking on AC. Actually, you can see by this little arrow that it's sorted by AC values now. So when I click on it and click on it again, um, I now have the correct sort order. What do you this report still doesn't look exactly like the one I showed in the beginning, so there's a few things we need to do. Let's change the deviation column to a waterfall chart. So let's click on the little arrow and then change it to waterfall. And now what we need to do is we need to indicate if an account or a row is a total or a result or it is a negative KPI. Let me show you what that means. So first we have software revenues. Previous year value 265, actuals 275. So we have more revenues, that means a positive effect. And this means we should have a green bar, so that is correct. It's the same for support revenue and consulting revenue. The previous year values are lower than the actuals. Revenues is actually a total of the three rows above. So here I need to say this is a result. So I need to right click and select result. Now we go on to the next position. 
um, costs of goods sold. So this we call a negative KPI because this is costs. And we had costs of 122 in the previous year. And this year we have 128. So we have more costs. And currently we show a green bar. Of course, more cost is negative. So we need to invert this position. So I right click and invert, which turns this into a red deviation, meaning this is a negative effect from actuals to previous year. And now I just need to go through my report and do this for all the rows. Gross profit is a result. So this should be defined as a result. And then we have costs again. And again, we have costs, other operating income is an income. And then here we have costs again. Um, we have a total income tax is also inverted. Then we have another total. And of course, the net income also is a total. And now we have a waterfall chart, which actually works. And also it is sorted in our predefined sort order logic, right? In your custom sort order logic. And people can now really drill into the details. Or if you really want to see the overall big picture, everything can be collapsed and you only show the account groups. And this is how you add a hierarchical income statement to your Power BI report. For more Power BI tips and tricks, make sure to visit the Zero BI knowledge base, where of course you can always, as always, download this file.